the agency has never and will never ever admit there is an Area 51. End of story. Established by the CIA in 1955 to develop and test America's most secret military projects, Area 51 was named after a grid number on a map. While officially it doesn't exist, today satellite images of the Nevada desert show seven runways and more than 25 hangars. Shrouded in secrecy, access has always been highly restricted. But finally, the early programs that started it all are being declassified, and memories can be brought to light. It was a real Cold War. You're talking nuclear bombs aimed at every major city? And it's like two people, who's going to throw the first punch? There are a lot of times when democracy just has to give way to strict control, like military, so you can accomplish something that will allow for your country to survive. And that's the way we all thought about it, I think. When we had a meeting, no pencil or paper was allowed. Even the pilots did not talk to each other because nothing was written down. It's all in our, in our heads. When we came into the program, we were given a code name. My first name was Ken, and the last name started with C for Collins, but it was uh, Colmar, C-O-L-M-A-R. At least with me, I'm not that curious, which I felt was good on the secrecy part of it. I mean, if I don't need to know it, I'm not going to ask. I was told, don't bother ever trying to find your level of clearance. You've just been cleared by the highest groups in Washington, D.C. They have an apparatus to know what you're doing, what you're saying, where you're going. 